Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Vlogmas Day 5. Today I'm going to show you guys my updated skincare. This is um, one of the questions I get asked the most is what I use for my skin. And I really don't use much, but I use products that I care about and I stick with them. I really don't switch up my skincare too much unless I'm trying out products. And before I get into it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please like and comment on this video if you learned something. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at underscore Mariah Simone and follow me on Twitter at underscore Mariah Simone with three E's. But that's about it. Let's get into it. Okay, so I just got out the shower and I did my hair already so that I can look somewhat presentable for you guys. But um, I haven't put anything on my face, but I did use two masks and I wanted to show you guys them. And they're from Lush and I use these when my skin needs to get a little bit of a reset. I go. So they're all wet from being in the shower, but I always use the Ocean Salt. If you guys hear licking in the back, it's my dog. Okay, and then if you see this, this is a hive that just popped up at this moment when I wiped my lip plumper off. I think I got a little bit on my arm, so don't mind that. The Ocean Salt scrub I use at first, and I use this all over my body, um, but I use this on my face. It has sea salt, brightening lime, and softening avocado. And I know that there's vodka in it as well, but this does not irritate my skin. I have sensitive skin, so if it doesn't irritate my skin, it probably won't irritate yours, but use cautiously. Um, and then my favorite mask of all time is the Mask of Magnum NT. Um, I love this mask so much. It works pretty much immediately. If I have breakouts from my period or just from eating unhealthy or whatever it is, um, this always gets my face right back into action. So these two things I don't use all the time, but I do use them quite often when I need it. Okay, so now, and as you can see, like my face looks, it doesn't look dry and I haven't put anything on it. I just used the scrub, rinsed it off, and then used the mask, left it on for a little bit and rinsed it off. But now I'm going to wash my face with my Glossier cleanser. This hasn't changed from last time. Um, I still love this stuff so much. It is conditioning. It doesn't make my skin feel dry, but it does make my skin feel cleansed. Um, and I do not use this to take off makeup though. I use my Clinique Take Off the Day Balm, which I will show you that in my nighttime routine. But um, yes, yeah, so I would take off my makeup with that balm and then I would go in with this face wash. So I just rub it all over my face. I have last extensions, so I avoid my eye area. And to cleanse that, I'll use micellar water that is oil free. And then I just rinse this off. And I did wash my hands before even touching my face. Make sure you do that, that is very important. Very important. Now I'm going to dry my face and I'm going to pat my face dry. Do not rub your face, pat it dry. It's delicate. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with my solution still. This hasn't changed from last time. I love this stuff so much. If my face also needs a reset, I use those masks like I said, but this really makes a difference this is amazing i love this i also have um sensitive skin and this does not this is not too um abrasive for my skin at all and remember when i said that my boyfriend tried it and he said he got a pimple uh, and i was like i think that it's probably just because it's purging his skin that's exactly what it is like if he uses this now it doesn't break his face out unless he has gone a long time without cleansing your, his skin which is like that with any product that is going to actually clean your skin out, things have to come to the surface. So I just saturate a little cotton pad and I rub all of my face. And I did my edges, so I'm not gonna touch those because I have to go somewhere. But if I didn't have my hair done, then I would get into the edges area. And this skincare routine that I am doing, I do the whole thing at night. And you'll have to watch my morning routine to see what I do in the morning under the neck in the neck I don't usually use the solution all over this area I don't know I probably should but I use everything else on my neck and decollete all right so now that I've done that I'm gonna go in with my serum this also hasn't changed I still love this stuff I use the super bounce still I was thinking about trying some of their other serums but I just love this so much it's like 
why fix it if it ain't broken? So I just use one syringe bowl and I'll put it on my forehead, cheek, chin, and nose. And this probably looks crazy, but whatever. And I just rub it into my face. And I'll rub it into my face until it fills um, in my neck area. And I'll do that until it fills not tacky, but you'll you'll tell it's rubbed in. Here, let me get there and I'll let you know what it feels like. It just feels a little bit more tacky, but still not like too tacky. But there is a little bit of a stick. That's how you know that you've rubbed it in good enough. Don't forget your neck and decollete area. And be soft with your skin. And I like to rub upwards. Here I'll rub across. And then here I do rub out of my nose. Then I go up. So now something that is new is the Glossier Eye and Lip Pumping plumping Cream. I rarely use this on my lips. Um, I don't know, sometimes I'll rub it around. I'm assuming it's for like the fine lines around the, well not assuming, I think they did say that, but for the lines around the lips and the lips it's also delicate. So I guess for the sake of this video, I'll put a little bit on my lips, but I just put, put a little bit, rub it on. I'm gonna just I'm gonna rub it all over my lips and around. But yeah, they just they released this a little bit after I made that video, and so I wasn't able to use it. And honestly, you guys don't need an under eye cream. <sighs> I know it's up for debate, but I follow a lot of skincare people, estheticians, and truly you don't need an under eye cream you should be able to bring your moisturizer up to under your eyes but you still need to be moisturizing your under eyes but i'm not going to tell you guys you have to invest in under eye creams i don't know i do because i like it but i don't think that it's that important but as you guys saw i just put one pump of that on my ring finger tapped it together and i just rub it into my eyes should i be closer this is gonna i'm sorry if i was too far but yeah, you just tap it in. And this, I think it's called orbital, or, orbital bone area. That's where you rub it in. And then I'll put a little extras that I have under my brows. All right, and then the next thing that has changed is this moisturizer. I've been using this for almost a year now. Um, I love this stuff so much. I know I said that uh, I got the rich Glossier cream because my skin was dry and it worked then but this works way better and since i've been here i'm I've been here for a year and some months now and i need i need some um extra moisturizer that the glossy average cream was just not giving me that much and i just put it on the back of my hand rub it in and pat it over my face you do not need a lot of this stuff and you won't want to use a lot of this stuff if you see the price tag and they say you just need a pea size amount and i just rub that over my neck and chest look at how it just makes my skin so moisturized it looks like it looks wet it's beautiful i love this stuff so much okay and then last but absolutely not least is this glossier invisible shield sunscreen um you should be using a sunscreen every day i don't care if you're lighter than me or darker than me you need to be using sunscreen because the sun does not discriminate so, I put this over my skin and I do like this a lot. Um, I heard when doing some research that, I'm not gonna tell you what's better, physical sunscreen or chemical sunscreen. This is a chemical sunscreen and I like how it's not white because physical sunscreens tend to be more white and purple and then make me look sister spooky. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, so I use this chemical one, but I do know that it said Regardless of what sunscreen you use, make sure that it's SPF 35 at least. So, yes, I just put that over my skin and I'm good to go. And I don't use this sunscreen at night, obviously, but since I'm about to go out, I'm gonna put it over my skin. Okay, you guys, so that is everything. That is how I get my skin to look like this. Um, the one thing is, try not to skip your skincare. I know that I do it sometimes, I'm gonna be real, but 
the key is consistency and just care and being delicate with your skin. So I hope that you learned something today. Um, if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe um, to my channel. That will help me out so much. Um, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at underscore Mariah Simone. And follow me on Twitter at underscore Mariah Simone with three E's. And until tomorrow, bye.